All right, let's start this shit show. <laughs> the, okay, so look, there are some things about this game that are sort of different. Does Gabriel have a giant ass? I he does have very weird proportions. Ew. Yeah. Let's. Oh my God. Stop. Ricky. Sorry. Um. You have a lot of control over the camera. You can, well, each room has these room cameras, which are I, incredibly not wow. not useful. That seems irritating. And um, you can really position the camera almost anywhere you want in the environment. The thing is that n no one has really done that since then because no one wants to do that. That seems like work. Like, yeah. Like, the camera just needs to figure out where to be. Like, Super Mario 64 did it fine a really long time before this came out. Anyway, you can move the camera, like, you can pan, you can, like, move it left and right. Although, the controls are really, it, it's really touchy, I found. So I can move forward and, and I can tilt up, which, you know, in principle, that could be cool. Like I can get near the ground and look you under this bed. You can get the kitty cat view. Yes. I can, I can, but it, it's so hard to, in principle, you could actually like direct shots, I guess. Night. Gabriel. Night. And we're, we've gone a little bit away from the smart cursor. We have a little more options. We have a few things we can do to each other. Oh, we can stab. My Schottenjäger dagger. I want to stop now and contemplate that line reading. My Schottenjäger dagger. Why? Looking at my passport picture, it's a wonder the U.S. ever let me go. I, that was really bad. None of these lines are delivered well. A good writer never goes anywhere without his notepad. Oh, my God. Wow. <laughs> that was horrible. He's like... He Prince James's calling card. He really didn't want to do this, did he? I don't think so. Like, that was when I like when I was reading <laughs> the comic the book Shut lines. The Shut Talisman. Yeah. It's kind of like a lucky rabbit's foot, only big and heavy. And these lines are bad. Yeah. I mean, I sympathize. I would probably... I went back to my old tape recorder. That jewel mount was a pain to lug around. Mm hmm Grace has been working on our procedure for cases. She wants us to take fingerprints, use this new program called Sydney, and do all this sort of, you know, official crap. So I don't think I'll record my conversations this time around, but I might be able to find some more creative uses for my tape recorder. Now I don't even know what accent he's doing. <laughs> it's like three or four in series my wallet yep um by the way do people from new orleans have an accent at all uh, well, I th my uh understanding is some of them sound like they're from new jersey and some of them sound kind of southern and kind of a big bed for little old me hmm and you big old butt what is that <laughs> he's got like a weird what is that butt. yeah it's a safe, you idiot. What do you think it is? The the best modeled object oh, wow. in any 3D game should be that the main character. That wouldn't do much good. The door's locked. Clipping. His ass is like three. Yeah, it's like a triangle. Good thing I have all this stuff in my room. You never know when you'll need a dresser. What uh, What is he laughing about? I don't, it's normal to have a closet or... Because most people have clothes. Somebody must is have had like a, a knife in here or something. Like, oh, a dresser. You would. Oh, a dresser. Still, still following the rule where we <laughs> grab everything. All right, anything that's not nailed down, shove it in your pocket. Anything that Gabriel will take, I will pick, be picking up. If I could pick that plant up and carry it around in his big ass, big ass, I would. Nothing much else to see. You can go into the bathroom, but. It's, not it's a hotel room door, not mine, by the way. All right, now we're now he's starting to at least talk normally. Mm. Let's go downstairs. Still pretty good music in this game, I think. That that hasn't fallen off. 
Uh, well, maybe it's not as good as the second game, but it's still pretty good. Can we not clip through him every time he well, walks? Well, it would be a major pain in the ass if he were moving the camera. Mm. Ah, you must be Monsieur Knight in room 25. And you're the most French person in the world. If there's anything you need, <laughs> I will be at your service most humbly. So, uh, thanks. Was he offering, like, <laughs> personal Say, Jean, services? Have you seen two men with a large trunk around the hotel? Maybe, uh, checking in? No, monsieur, but most of the guests arrived last night, oui? And I was, excusez-moi, not on duty. We have a number of gentlemen staying at the hotel. As to their luggage, I cannot say. What are those textures? Maybe somebody else who works <laughs> here might have seen the two men. The night clerk is Simone. When she comes on duty this evening, perhaps monsieur could ask her. Look at how Gabriel's... Neck attaches Is to there his anything body. I should it's know really about the town? Awkward. Rennes le Chateau? We have a small town, but a rich history. What is this guy I suggest doing? Monsieur visit the Musée de Saunière. It's just down the road. Okay, there's a museum down the street. Mm. I will be taking it's this. It's a black magic marker. But I will not be taking it right now because he will not let me. Oui, Monsieur Knight? I could, but maybe I should wait until Jean's elsewhere. Oh, it's a pen. People steal pens all the time. Yeah, he likes that pen. Let's look at their registry. There's some kind of book on the desk. Oh, it's good. a registry dipshit. What do you think it is? Mm, looks like these guests have all signed in within the last 24 hours. There are... kind of look like there were eight names, but I think there are only seven rooms. No, there are seven. Okay. So seven, and we will uh, we'll find out that there are in fact only seven rooms. So all everyone who's here came in last night. I cannot read his note. Mm. Uh, it would make sense that I would be able to because that's one of the benefits of this camera freedom, and yet it's the no. texture's so bad that you can't make out anything. In fact, you can't even read the names on that registry. I can't. No. Let's head into the dining room. I'm sure this won't be incredibly contrived. Surely it would be very hacky to put a character from another game, just plop him here and... If that's what I think it is, I can die a happy man. As some weird coincidence that we were just... Like, we came to this French town and somebody that we knew just happened to be here. Oh, great. That'd be really dumb, right? Yeah. Nobody would write that. No, hey, how about some coffee out here, Merci? Merci means thanks. Don't you mean s'il vous plaît? You can think. Thanks, buddy. But then again, maybe he's supposed to be like this horrible tourist guy. Because Gabriel's kind of an ass. Guy's kind of near Gabriel huh? Nye. You wanker. <laughs> Mosley. <laughs> Is that you? That's stupid. No, it's my evil twin. Why the hell? What the is hell are he you doing here, man? What are you doing? What am I here? doing here? What are you doing here? I'm, gave uh, us a shot in I'm on vacation. I'm here with the <clears throat> tour group. What kind of tour group? You know, the touring kind. And you guys came here? Well, it's kind of special. Um, it's a special treasure hunting tour group. Treasure? What treasure? Look, read the brochures, okay? I'm not the freaking tour guide. Jeez, nice to see you too. So what are you doing here again? Um, I came to see you. <laughs> what? Sure, I called your number at the post. Right, of course. I forgot I mentioned it. Well, <laughs> it's great to see you. Great. Y yeah. If you want to join a tour, you'll have to talk to Madeline uh, Boothane. She's around here somewhere. And uh, come up to the room later, would you? Uh, I'm in room 33. Sure. And uh, thanks for surprising me, old pal. Uh, no problem. Okay, so there's something else going on there. But, yeah, that was really weird. But we don't know what. Why? But that's, I mean, come on. At, at the time that this was made, there were five and a half to six billion people in the world. 
I don't, I don't think that Packages awesome. of maple syrup. <laughs> like I said. Never know when you might need some maple syrup. Is that a very common thing in, in Europe? Maple syrup? No, you wouldn't think. I, I don't actually know. It seems like an American thing. Well, a Canadian thing nowadays. Thanks, global warming. Well, but the consumption thereof. Right. Well, they, do, they consume a fair amount in Canada. Yeah. They have their strategic reserve there, right? I think that's for selling purposes, yes. But Whatever. Ah, uh, he's not looking. I'm going to oh, steal okay. your damn pen. It's a what game is it that makes those little noises? Day of the Tentacle. Uh, okay. Uh, so I guess we should call the prince and let him know about his child being kidnapped. <laughs> Presumably he's noticed that by now. I, yeah, Gabriel Where's Grace? She's not there. She's, Back I mean, if the prince doesn't the know that his kid's gone, then... I guess Grace doesn't know where Gabriel is. If he had called, then she would know. He should call. It would be nice. Yes. I should call Prince James. I think I have his number on me somewhere. And he won't just do it, so I have to actually get the card. But I already had it, like, loaded up. You can, like, load an item up. In fact, that you have to. Mm. It's the only way to do it. He dialed that really Hello, rapidly. Hello, Stewart's residence. This is Gabriel Knight calling for <laughs> Prince James. Yes, one moment, please. I'm hard of hearing. Yeah. Mr. Knight, what in God's name is... I know you must be frantic. Let me explain. Last night, someone came into the bedroom through the window and took your son. I followed them, but I couldn't catch up. They went to the train station and boarded a train for Toulouse. I believe they got out of a little place called Cuiza. I'm still trying to track what happened next. Quiza? Near Rennes-le-Chateau? Yes. You know it. Gabriel, I... Thank you very much for informing me. I I must think for a moment, please. Um, I'm afraid okay. our investigation of the night visitors will have to be postponed. I'll send down some men to look into the kidnapping. Wait a minute. What makes you think the night visitors weren't involved? I, I don't have time to explain. Keep your eyes open until my men arrive, if you would. I'll send Miss Nakamura along. Oh, and naturally, your travel expenses and the fee we discussed will be taken care of. Oh, that's not important. Goodbye, Mr. Knight. Perhaps I will call on you again when I have time for such matters. Good. Yeah. Goodbye. I'll just hang up this Lego phone. <laughs> uh, we You may have noticed somebody... The sound of somebody walking into the booth next to us. I guess Eek-a-boo. those are feet. He's got sandals on. I don't hear anything. Maybe he's got a long-winded telephone phone. And he's obviously not then using again, the phone. Maybe not. He should climb up on that shelf and peer That'd be kind of rude. Gabriel won't open, but we can keep looking for somebody in sandals. To see if we can identify that person later. Uh, there was a dude here, and he's not anymore. Well, presumably. Could be that guy. Um, so let's just go outside. I guess we're trying to get on the tour group. I don't know why we'd want to do that. Mm-hmm. Let's talk to um, Madeline, who's incredibly hot. Don't mind if I do. She's made of at least 18 polygons. Also has mom mom pants on. Yeah. That is the worst VW bus I've ever seen. <laughs> it's... Oh, my God, her boobs. Well, hi. <laughs> so pointy. You must be Madeline Put out an eye. Perhaps. Who are you? Gabriel Knight. I am You know Mosley tart. from your tour? We go way back. Oh, huh. I should have recognized the accent. What? My accent. head is a perfect rectangle. Never mind. What accent is a so, good question. So, you know yeah. Monsieur Mosley? Oh, yeah. And I was wondering how much you charge me to, you know, kind of hang with the group, given that I'm paying for my own hotel and all. Two thousand francs. Is that kinda a lot? Kind of steep, isn't it? Well, this yeah. is the price okay. of success. Do you wish to find a treasure or not? I'll think about it. Hmm. Chicken. Chicken. When did y'all get in? Last night. Late? No, 
Why do you ask? Just curious how long it took. You drove it? Yes, from Toulouse. It's about uh, two hours. Mm -hmm. Who all came in the van? Most of the group flew into Toulouse. John Wilkes, Lady Howard, Miss Styles, and your friend, mostly. Messrs. Bukkelly and Baza made their own arrangements. Mm -hmm. So, what's this tour group do, anyway? I guide my clients through the facts of the mystery and show them the important locations. From there, they can draw their own conclusions. Well, how come you're not guiding them right now? There is a lot to absorb in the town itself, Monsieur Knight. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. will be the first guided lecture. Oh, well, I'll still think about it. So, you're the expert, right? What's your theory about the treasure of Rennes Chateau? I leave that to my clients. It is better that way, no? Okay. No. I don't know why Gabriel thinks that whoever took the kids is related to one of these seven people. Because... Well, this is where he is. This is where they are. It is a town. I think there are more houses. Why would it be somebody in this hotel? Oop. Mm, so much for that idea. Emilio does not want to speak to us outside. Was he out there looking, spying on us? I don't know, but let's go in and have a chat with him anyway. We've got him cornered. Let's snatch away his newspaper. They're reading the shit out of that one page. Hey, how Let's you doing? It. My name is Knight, Gabriel Knight. And I am Emilio Baza. Emilio? Interesting name. Where are you from, anyway? The Middle East, originally. Huh. It's generally the Hey, you with that tour group, by any chance? I am. Yes. Yes, I am. Oh, Okay. So you are nice there. place, huh? Did you get in last night? Yes. Not too late, I hope. Not late, no. Did you drive in? A friend dropped me off. I'm not crazy about flying and owning a vehicle. <laughs> Such a nuisance. That's true. Are you a treasure hunter, Emilio? I suppose I am, but riches can be measured in many ways. Well, that's true enough. So what do you think the treasure is? Oh, I would not presume to say, Mr. Knight. At least, not out loud. I don't even know how Gabriel knows about the treasure. Well, didn't so Mosley drop a hint or something? Right at hmm. Yeah, that is a weird picture to have up in a hotel. Let's ask I was speaking stuff. at the hotel register. You wouldn't by any chance recall the actual times people checked in, would you? Monsieur, we are a small hotel. This is why we do not require so precisely the time check-in, the time check-out. I myself might remember, but I was not on duty last night. Like he already said. You've got a tour group staying here. Ah, oh, they fill the hotel. We have only the seven rooms and they have taken every room but your room, monsieur. If I might say, monsieur is most fortunate to get his room. Particularly since he did not make the reservation, n'est-ce pas? Oh, yeah. I'm lucky as all get out. Do you know anything about the tour group, Jean? No, monsieur. You shall have to speak with the mouth of the horse itself. Hmm. Mademoiselle Butan is the tour group leader. Maybe you want to learn I that idiom. I hear there's supposed to be a treasure around here. Do you know anything it. about it? The Chamber of Commerce, they asked me to sound mysterious. But... Between you and I, Monsieur Knight, mm. I think le trésor is a myth. A uh, myth? No offense. I hope you are proving me wrong. Myth? Myth. Myth. The, the mouth of the horse. Myth. Well. Chicken. Can you bother that chicken? Ooh, reminds me of the present the voodoo group left me. Oh. Yuck. Okay. We're, we're talking about that again. 
How did he get over there? Oh, yeah, that's another thing. So he will zoom to wherever your camera <laughs> it can't Sam see him. Sangriel. Holy Grail. Sangriel. Wasn't that what the two men on the train said? Sangria? Why would they be talking about the Holy Grail? Sangria is delicious. And what does the Grail have to do with Rand Le Chateau? What indeed? Yes. Maybe we should go to the damn museum. They're closed. Not much going on in this town. Fountain, moped rental. Oh, God, that fountain. What? That doesn't look great. Not sure what it says, but if it has to do with bikes, I'm there. Oh, it's a moped. It's not a bike. Um. Yeah, that doesn't look good to you? Not really. Yeah, so he, like, if no I matter... If I it for too long, I'll have to go back up to the room. Ha. Uh, it... Like, yeah, no matter where you are, he, like, just jumps to wherever the camera is. He, w he won't jump into your field of view, but he will jump right outside of it. Which, I, it's nice, so you don't have to wait for him to walk across the whole landscape. It's a little jarring, though. Yeah. Yeah, they, sh they should have figured out. Oh, he walks. They're open all day. He walks really slowly, too. So this is the Sonier museum we don't know who that is we're about to find out who Sonier is he does walk slow Jesus I know so that's why I hear I zoom in here and click and now he jumps mm. you know 10 feet the leaves on that tree are pretty crappy too yeah they're like Nintendo 64 level hey they actually have souvenirs for sale I'm sure Gracie will be all over it if and when she gets here. I don't, why would they, this technology clearly wasn't ready. Yeah. It looks like a lost and found box. Let's look down into the box. And it's a beret. Somebody lost a hat. Not Never very know interesting. When you might need a beret. I'm not going to steal that. Why not? Well, not right now. Lady. Eh, let's not talk to the lady right now. She looks like a corpse. Yeah, she does. Oh, goody posters. Um. Oh, yeah. No, I know. Um. We don't have to read those, do we? Yeah. Oh. Um. The first thing you want to do here is eavesdrop on these people. Again, I don't. Is everyone in this town a tourist? You'd think there'd have I to be at least one tell. or two natives. Look at this. It's the sacred number of Ra. You're right, Lily. And look. It says Virgo, Isis, and Trinus et Unus. Three or one, isn't it? Or am I conjugating badly? Oh, I'm afraid I never had Latin. Well, I think I'm right. Do you suppose they're referring to Nat Horus and Osiris? Um, they could be referring to God, Jesus, uh, and the Holy Ghost. Couldn't they? Don't be stupid. Anyway, Dr. Wen says it's all the same thing. Or was that Mary, God, and Jesus? Look at that shape. Wasn't there something like that in Dr. Wen's sacred geometry? Shh! Do you want to give everything away? Oh, sorry. Oh my god. So these everyone's a stereotype in this game. Good morning, ladies. Kestel, the gentleman has come over to introduce himself. Isn't that charming? Well, I try. The name's Knight. Gabriel Knight. Yes. How do you do, Mr. Knight? I'm Estelle Stiles, and this is Lady Lily Howard. Renowned on stage and screen. And now you're thinking, how modest, how petite, and of course, I am Lily. Mm -hmm. Are you with the tour group? He's a sly one, Estelle. Yes, Mr. Knight, we are. What about you, dear boy? I thought we'd met everyone this morning. Oh, I'm, uh, oh, I'm a friend of Mosley's. Ah, well. Oh, well are you what? all here looking Ooh. for the treasure? Well, we can hardly deny it since we're on the tour. But it's not as though we have a theory, Mr. Knight. Estelle. You're so subtle. 
Oh, yes. yeah? You got a theory? Well, let me hear it. Is that a note of ridicule I hear? Can it yes. be? No, I didn't. Do you think perhaps that only men can have valid theories? Hmm? Hardly. It's just the whole idea of a... Lily, are we to take it that you yourself have no theory, sir? About the treasure? We don't um, even really know no, what it is. No, I don't. Methinks he doth protest too much. It's possible. Not really. Okay. okay are we you wouldn't by any chance uh, be here looking for the Holy Grail, would you? Ah, but we all seek the Holy Grail. Grail. You mean everyone on the tour? No, little man. All mankind. The correct question is not, do you seek the Grail, but... Do you know what the Grail is? Well, what is it? Ah, 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 ah. <sighs> yeah. I know that feel, bro. Mm. So there's Sonier. I think he's the guy the museum's named after. Sonier. Some guy. It's a letter in French. It's an angel holding a devil in chains. Mm. Odd. I've never seen Satan drawn quite like that. Let's zoom in and see what that's all about. No, can't really get any closer than that. Pretty tough to tell what's going on there. Some bullshit we'll a have to deal with of later. Old documents in French. Be still, my heart. Oh, f oh fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, he kind of looks like me. Except for the dress part. Mm hmm. Well, let's get through this as quickly as possible. I want to read all that. Uh, the earliest recorded inhabitants of the Languedoc were, the, were Celtic. Several stone monuments in the area are thought to be French versions of Stonehenge. Very little is known about this period. The Romans called this area Gaul. They had had many rich silver and gold mines here sustained by slave labor. Gaul was a favorite spot for exiling people. Pontius Pilate and Herod were both exiled there by Rome. The Visigoths conquered Rome, raiding the city of Rome itself in four... I can't read that. They ended, six or so? Mm, they I ended think. their nomadic existence. Uh, vast plunder. The Merovingian was a line of mystical priest kings... With long hair. Hmm. Okay. Made a pact with the Roman Pope. 671, the Merovingian king Dagobert II married Giselle de Rezis, niece of the Visigoth king. Her hometown, Rennes le Chateau, became the Merovingian stronghold. Let's see. Dagobert II was murdered. Aren't they always? And the Pope, I guess, uh, endorsed the murder. That's nice. Hmm. Can't believe the Pope would do something terrible. Yeah. Carolinians, <laughs> the family line, a pep in the fat, hmm. gradually took over rulership in 754. Pep in the third, by the pronouncement of the Pope, officially became the king of the Franks. Less fat one, that. Mm hmm. And Charlemagne was part of that dynasty. Hmm. Uh, do, 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 Jewish contingent, Pepin III, in exchange for acknowledgement from the Jewish leaders, made Septimania an independent kingship. Oh, okay. What? TLDR. Why do we care about this? All right, let's move on. Uh, the Cathars. Oh my God, it never ends. Outgrown, outgrowth of the region's historical independence in the late 12th century. Oh my god. Maybe that none of this is important. It's probably all important. It, but, all right, Knights Templar. Yeah, I've heard of them. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, the Templars were inaugurated in Jerusalem, but several of their key founders came from here, Yay. including some guy. So the temple continued its association with the region. So maybe the Templars are here. Mm. Could be Templars. Cool. No story involving Templars is really hacky. No, never. Like by Dan Brown. No. 
When Adam delved and Eve span, who was then the gentleman? Okay. Is span the past tense of some verb that I do not know? Well, to spin, maybe? To spin? Like as in roll or something? Isn't it? Oh, okay. Ah. Saunier was born and raised near Rennes-le-Chateau. He was ordained abbey to Rennes-le-Chateau in 1885, the age of 33. For six years, Saunier struggled on a starvation slot salary. He managed to raise a little money from locals to restore the decrepit church. He began the work in 1891 and was dismantling the altar when he found a hollow with an ancient Visigoth pillar inside the hollow, Saunier found four parchments and wooden tubes. The parchments were said to be two genealogies, a two-sided parchment containing Greek scripture, and a confession of one. Okay. Saunier took the discovery to his superior, the bishop. The bishop sent him to Paris, where he stayed for three weeks. He was introduced to various persons. That is so interesting. Involved in esoteric and occult um, when he returned, his fortunes had changed. He began spending vast sums of money. He had a lavish villa bought, built for himself. And he added a strange tower overlooking the valley. Sonier built a road and water system for the town, refurbished, nice. refurbished the church in a garish and unorthodox manner, mm -hmm. gave money away. A later superior demanded to know the surface of source of his wealth with the Pope excused him. Sonier also did some unaccountable things such as destroying several of the tombstones in the graveyard and defacing other ancient local inscriptions. I'm sure we won't be doing any of that ourselves. Oh no, that was ghoulish. Positively ghoulish. Distinguished and mysterious visitors came to see Sonier, Vampires? including an archduke. Um, he died suddenly in 1917 days after his housekeeper bought a casket for him. Maybe she knew he was going to die. He might have been sickly. Mm -hmm. She, All she said was that people were walking on gold and didn't know it. Mm -hmm. And here's another picture, from the same as the one over there, that we also cannot fucking see. Why is this it's such an a... an angel holding a devil in chains. Yeah. This is like the same texture. I've never seen Satan drawn quite like Yes, that. you have in this very room. <laughs> it's an angel holding a I thought I could look chains. at the other thing, but I couldn't. Right. I so I don't know what that symbol stuff is about. Oh, wait, there's a harp there's thing. a big-ass harp. I'm not sure I'd want that thing between my legs. Looks dangerous. Because it's a guy. Because hmm. he doesn't want a guy between his legs. That would be gay. Because that's gay. So gay. Okay. It's a pretty little... Hallway. Yeah, I know, right? All right, let's talk to this lady. So your office sucks. So, hag. I mean, lady. Ah, how are you? You look you like an place? animate corpse. Are we? Yes. Nice to meet you. The name is Knight. Very well. And you are? Madame Girard. Is there something I can help you with? There might be. Hmm. Say, were you around last night? I was at home, monsieur. Oh. You didn't happen to see anyone coming into town, did you? Late? Around 11? I am well asleep by then. The early bird catches the worm, you know. <laughs> yeah. And what an incentive that is, too. Not a bird. Yeah. Is there anything special I should know about the town? The displays will tell you the history of Rennes-le-Chateau. Oh, yeah, I read those. They were great. Say, does the Holy Grail have something to do with this area? Mm, perhaps. Oh, my uh, God. And what would the connection be, exactly? Some believe the Templars found sacred Christian treasure in the Holy Land. When they were persecuted, they would have hidden it, n'est-ce pas? It really is not that difficult to leap, monsieur. Sacred Christian treasure? Like the Holy Grail? Possibly. The most famous Grail story, written by Wolfenbach, was set in Languedoc. Did you know that, monsieur? Uh-uh. Ah, no. Of course you did not. Ignorant American. Mm-hmm. 
There's supposed to be some kind of treasure buried around here, right? Yes, that is the theory. Well, what kind of treasure is it? That is part of the mystery, monsieur. Okay, so what are some of the possible treasures? Gold stores of the Romans, the fabulous wealth of the Visigoths, which was never found, the fabulous wealth of the Merovingians, which was never found. Oh, it could be the fabulous wealth of the Cathars, which... Yeah, I gotcha. The Templars too, right? But of course, they had more fabulous wealth than anyone. Why do you think that French pig dog of a king turned on them? Um, aren't you French in this region? Well, France mm -hmm. thinks okay. so. Even the French hate the French. Any yeah. other theories on the possible treasure? Well, the Romans did destroy the Temple of Jerusalem, stole sacred Hebrew artifacts. Perhaps it is the lost treasure of Jerusalem that is buried around here. And then there is this one theory. Yes? Ah, never mind. I am a good Catholic woman myself. Why don't you read up on the subject if you are so very interested? Mm -hmm. Or you could just You tell mentioned us. Templars, as in the Knights Templars? Were they really from this? If you wish to know about the Templars, read the history board. But it's boring. Have also, you heard a sure. baby crying in the past 24 hours? I have three grandchildren. What do you think? Not your babies. Your babies are boring. Do they often live with their grandchildren in France? Maybe. My understanding is it's really hard to buy a house. Like, they don't have credit the same way we have credit. Out, out where they are? Well, I don't know. Where the fuck are they? That is the worst tree. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I mean, it's cool that you can, like, get all high and, like, look at <laughs> shit, but there's not much to look at. So we have to finish out this segment. Mm -hmm. There's Sonier's house. Look at it. It's beautiful. Villa Bethania. Personal residence constructed by Sonier. He's the one who got rich and started the rumors about a treasure. He sold his soul to the devil or something, I'm sure. Yep. Maybe he's the original vampire. Although that doesn't... I don't know that we have any reason to suppose. Yeah, not really. Mm-hmm. Crappy fountain. Loud clock. Man. This is not off to a good start. 